Hey everybody, I'm John Swicky and welcome back to Stack Snacks, where we try to make AI exciting and fun and informative for everybody. So today I thought we would just kind of take a quick little peek and talk on uh, GPTs. So what is GPTs? Why should we care? And uh, we can uh, take it from there. So uh, for ChatGPT Plus users now, you, you now should have a uh, My GPT section that now shows up, and I believe a pop-up will show up too if, uh, if if you haven't seen it yet. And what GPTs are basically like really tailored, customized versions of ChatGPT to help you solve a very specific problem. So, or teach it a very specific thing. Um, so let's go through some examples which one might make it make more sense, right? Okay, so these are these are what uh, OpenAI lets you um, kind of default gets turned on. So there's creative writing coach. I'm eager to read your work and give you feedback to improve your skills. Could be very helpful. Coloring book hero. Turn any idea into a whimsical coloring book. Color your book pages. Well, that's fun. Um, laundry buddy asked me anything about stain, setting, sorting, and everything laundry. See, you can get <laughs> you get pretty specific here. Um, uh, sous chef, right? Recipes and stuff like that. And then uh, they made Dolly and data analysis um, one as well. And then you can use older models of GPT four this way as well. So there's a kind of interesting. And then these two are just, what you can do is you can kind of share these things with people now. So these are just two different ones that, that I've uh, come across online. This one is web performance engineer and gives you step-by-step -step guidance on how to help uh, increase, your, increase your website performance. And this one's called bloggy and it can craft professionally written and research blog posts in your unique voice. Right. Kind of cool. Um, so I thought we can just hop in real quick and try to make something. All right. So first thing it asks is what do we want to make? Um, let's see. Uh, we want to know, we want to make a cookie. Oh, wait, vegan cookie creations. We want to be able to talk all about vegan cookies. Let's just kind of we'll keep it simple for this one here. So the kind of interesting thing about the GPT builder is you kind of just use natural language and it kind of goes off and it kind of does its own thing. Uh, you can kind of see right here, it's just building. It's going to give me the, it wants its name of the cookie vegan, the vegan cookie advisor. Yes, I like that name. Uh, now it's going to use Dolly to make us a picture. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it works. So now it's asking us if, oh, it's already updating. Oh, wait, it's going to, oh, no, it's, it's, it's updating. He wanted to know, like, should it focus more on creative recipe building? Uh, should it use a certain type of language? Um, yeah. Nothing should use a certain type of language. I think it probably means, like, formal casual um or should anything topic that it should steer clear of uh, this casual casual response so now it's building again i think in the meantime we could while it's building we could go to this configure tab here and you can kind of see that our builder started <laughs> Excuse me, instructions for for our GPT, and it gives conversation starters, which is cool. Um, 
And then if you want to get into some more complex stuff, you can actually upload files uh, specifically for your GPT. Obviously, for this one, we don't really need that. We can make sure that it can browse the web. We can have Dolly access, and then it could run files. And then actions are cool because you can um, kind of hook up different APIs into that. So that's something we'll we'll definitely look at. Um, maybe not in this video. Oh, okay. Let's see. Humor, humor tone. So we're get we're getting close to to the finish line, I think here. All right. Hopefully this is the final build. I think we could, oh, no. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. All right, we can give it a shot here. Tell me a quirky vegan idea. This was a conversation starter. All right, how about peanut butter and jelly thumbprint cookies? It's like a nostalgic trick back to your school lunch days, but in a cookie form. Here's the quirky twist. Instead of regular jelly, use homemade berry. It's like a peanut butter and jelly went on a yoga retreat and came back as a cookie. All right, so now it's giving me some some uh, some ways to get that done. All right, um, and see, you can share it only to yourself. You can share it to only people with the uh, with the link, and then you can actually make it public, which looks like they may do a app store in one day. And oh, doesn't he didn't name the GPT? Vegan advisor, vegan cookie team. Um, I would just say it. And uh, now we got our GPT. So, like I said, like I said before, there's definitely more, more we can tap into. We can kind of go back here, actually, and edit. If you look at the Google tab more, you know, we kind of let the GPT builder drive this whole thing here, but we can definitely top, tap into the knowledge section as well as the not, uh, action section. So, Maybe what we'll do is we'll separate that out into a, into a deeper dive uh, on a separate video. But that's just a quick little look at GPTs, uh, kind of some things they can do, and uh, why they might be interesting. So, mm -hmm. all right, that should do it. We'll probably do another video, so uh, look out for that one about a little bit of a deeper dive and trying to make a little bit more complex GPT. But until then, everyone, thank you very much, uh, and we'll see you next time.